Hi y'all, it's your star goddess, so I'm back. Yes, I'm dressed for Mardi Gras. I even have my beads. But it's only because I did a makeup look for Mardi Gras on my other channel. <laughs> I'm not really going to Mardi Gras. I wish I was. We have Mardi Gras in Galveston here um, in Texas. So I might go to that, but that's only on the weekends. But anyway, so what I want to talk to y'all about is I had a video request. Somebody requested me do a video on how to become more confident in yourself as a witch and just as a in a person is in general okay did I say that right okay how to have more confidence as a person or a witch practitioner of magic in general how to say okay my spell is gonna work my magic works I don't care what you say blah blah blah, blah. I believe in myself okay so first of all you have to you have to know who you are that is key if you don't know who you are you will doubt yourself over and over and over again when you know who you are when you know what you're a part of when you know what you're made out of when you know the history when you know your science when you know all of this you can't help but to be confident because you know what's behind you what's inside you what is part of you you know what it is and for you to doubt those things is to doubt yourself so for example if you um if you know about dark energy spirit source creator energy ancestors uh past lives all those kind of things if you know all those things about yourself and that they are a part of you then how can you not be confident i don't understand for example, if you know all of your ancestors are backing you, how can you not be confident and feel protected? Um, if you know that you're made out of dark energy, if you're made out of uh, the cosmos and the very universe, how can you doubt yourself? If you know you're in a, in a past life you were something great and you learned and practiced all types of magic and accomplished all sorts of things, how can you doubt yourself? Okay. If you know stuff and you're very good at stuff and you have a talent that you knew comes from a past life or from, you know, a time that you just can't remember and you're just extra good at something, how can you not be confident about it? I look for ways um, in myself to be confident because of what I know. I don't look for things that I don't know to feel insecure about so I focus on those things that I'm good at and that I do know like can I go program a computer no can I go build a rocket ship no but am I sitting here complaining about that I can't do it no I focus on what I'm good at what I can do what I know I'm confident in um, so whatever you're good at you focus on that okay and once you focus on something that you're good at you're confident level will go up you'll be you know very confident about that um, i say focus on one thing at a time don't try to raise your level of confidence in every area at the same time work on one thing at a time because once you get one thing out of the way and you're very confident in that one area then it's going to be easier to go to the next thing and to the next thing and to the next thing and to the next thing you know you can't be everything all at once but you can work on yourself in different areas uh, I was not always the most confident person I was very shy I, w I was an introvert I'm still an introvert I'm still kind of shy but I'm not as shy as I used to be okay caring about what people think is one big problem that people have and that's just what it is um, and once you're free of caring about what other people's thoughts are about you, your confident level will rise tremendously. That's, that's all I gotta say. Um, also, how do you feel about yourself? Do you love yourself? Do you like the way you look? Do you like how much information you have? Do you like how you can carry a conversation? Do you like how you present yourself to the world? Do you like you? Do you like your personality? Okay, you have to learn all of that and answer those questions. Okay, um, do you think other people around you can tell that you're not confident in, confident in yourself? Do you think that they can tell that you're insecure? And do you sit like this? Do you hunch over? Do you look down? 
those are body languages that say I don't feel good about myself um, also in magic when you cast a spell when you do work when you write a spell when you talk about it when you teach other people how are you presenting yourself are you giving your very best are you guessing are you using words like I don't know maybe not sure sorry those are negative words those are words saying I'm not sure myself when you talk to people do you ask questions or do you tell people or do you command people okay now when I say command people it doesn't have to be in a rude way it's just your word choice do you say, excuse me, sir, could you please bring me that piece of paper over there? Thank you so much. Or do you say, um, sir, bring me that paper over there. Thank you. That's more confident. And you still said thank you, but it's not, it's not a choice. And subconsciously, people automatically respond to commands. It's psychological, okay? This is how you have to talk when you cast spells. You can't say... Please, if it's in your, like a lot of people when they pray to God, they'd be like, please, if it's God's will, if you would let me have, you know, that's too much. I don't deserve this. That's saying, I don't deserve this. If you find a spare moment of your time, and if you think I deserve this, you can give it to me. When you command, when you will something with the commanding voice, with commanding words, you will get what you want. Okay. Especially in magic and with people. Um. Uh, if you read lots of sales books and people that are in sales, they will tell you. You don't ask, you tell, you command. Those are keywords that will get people to, to react, okay? And that will, get, um, that will get things done. So try forming your sentences a lot different. Instead of using please, can you, will you, do you think, maybe, I don't know. Change all those words, those iffy words. I call them iffy words. Take all those iffy words out of your vocabulary. Take them out, throw them away. You don't need them, okay? They only raise doubt. So next time you do a spell, only use words that command. Take all those if words out. When you bump into somebody, you don't say sorry because you're not sorry. Say, excuse me, pardon me. You know, don't say, oh, I'm so sorry. No, stop apologizing for yourself. It was an accident. So, excuse me, pardon me, yes. Uh, when you next time you talk to somebody test this out on somebody if you know someone who you know is just sitting around and you want them you want to see if this works command them to do something but not in a rude way but in a in a way that you know invokes response instead of saying excuse me could you please go get me a drink of water I am so thirsty please thank you so much that's like begging okay when the person gets up and starts walking around say Bring me a glass of water, please. They'll bring it to you faster than they'll bring it to you if you're begging. Okay, they'll be like, well, why don't you get up and get your own water? It's automatic. It's like a, a thing in their head that will just automatically respond to commands. So, and plus, it's not like, you know, you're a victim and you can't get up and do it yourself. It's just like, okay, you're up. Go get the water. Blah, 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 blah. You know what you want. Okay. You're not asking, you're telling. So that's one way that I have become more confident by changing the words that I use. Another way is the people that I deal with. I don't hang around people that's going to put me down. Okay. I don't hang around. I don't waste my time. I, if I'm on the phone with somebody and they start saying negative things about me, I'll change the subject or I will say I have to go. I do not listen to negativity. That is one way. When you stop living to please other people, you start living for yourself and you start being more confident. Um, even if it's to your parents, okay? I cannot stress this enough. I've had to tell my mom so many times, I do not live for you. <laughs> I do not live to please you. That's what you have to tell them. I don't live to please you. I live to please myself and my, my family and my kids. But I don't live to please you anymore. I am over 18. You are done raising me. If you haven't done what your job that you wanted to do by the time I was 18, it is too late now. And I will tell her that straight up and she will respect me for it. Why? Because it's the truth. Once you're a certain age and you move out of your parents' house, you no longer live to please them. Sure, it's a good thing to make them proud of you, 
but you don't live your life daily to please them okay you are done that you are a grown person that is it okay and a lot of people suffer from this they live their life trying to please other people and when you do that you're not living so live your life to please yourself you will have more confidence and no one will come to you after you have let it you know be known that you don't live your life to please them you know and you're going to do what you're going to do regardless of what they think regardless of what their opinion is of you you don't live to please them okay so once they know that they will leave you alone and stop pressuring you to do stuff they will stop criticizing you about certain things because now they know you don't care what they think so the next level of confidence is like okay confidence in how you look maybe you're not the the best looking person in the world maybe you're not the thinnest person in the world maybe you don't have curves in the right place how do you feel confident about what you look like as an individual well I think you need to embrace yourself and how you are meant to look. This is how you're meant to look. If this is how you look, this is how you look right now. Deal with the here and now. You know, accept everything, every flaw. Accent the flaw. I don't care. Talk about it. Let it be known. You know, it's a part of me. I love it. I'm working with it. I can do things with this that you can never imagine. Okay? Just talk about it. Accept it. You know, um, people aren't always going to look like what society says is perfect. In fact, very few people do. So psh, I don't see why we want to look like something that's super rare and hard to attain without surgery, starving, and, uh, you know, if you can't do it with makeup and a wig, you don't need to be done. Okay. <laughs> Okay, but like, you know, if you're unhealthy, it is okay to want to get healthy, but you don't, you should not starve yourself to fit society's standards, okay? By no means will I ever starve myself to fit into society's standards. Why? Because I have everything I need already. I have everything I want already. There's nothing that me being skinny can get me that I don't have already, okay? So, why? <laughs> That's what I always say, you know what? The only thing I'm going to be missing out on is things that make me happy, you know? I'm not gonna deprive myself to fit into society's standards. Anyway, um, so that's how you build your confidence. You don't, you don't care about what people think. You embrace yourself, you know yourself, you know your history, you know your science, you know what you're made out of, you know where your thoughts go, you know thoughts equal uh, reality. You know all of this, but still you let people put doubt in your mind. But that is called your choice. It is your choice to let doubt get into your mind. It is your choice to doubt yourself. It's always your choice to treat yourself how you feel. It's always your choice to let people think how you deserve you should be, you know, to be treated. It's your choice. All is choice. And confidence is a choice. You can either Find a way to build it, or you can stay where you are. Magic. To be confident in your magic is a choice. You can either be iffy and ask everybody a thousand questions and never do your own research or do your own spells or make up your own spells and do this and that and never build your confidence. Or you can say, you know what? I'm in charge of my own destiny, my own life. I'm going to do magic the way I want to do magic. And it's going to work for me because it's coming from me. And this is just how it's going to be. And it works. So you just have to own it. You have to own everything about yourself, about your life, about your looks, about who you are, about who you're not going to please, about who you are going to please, which is yourself. And you just have to go with it. You have to be a little bit selfish in this world. Okay, you don't live to please other people. If you do, what are you doing? Is this your life or their life? Do they run your life or do you run your life? So you got to think of it like that. Society has us twisted up backwards, thinking we're supposed to live for other people. We're supposed to live by society's standards. We're supposed to do this. We're supposed to do that. But we never do anything that we want to do for ourselves to build our own confidence level up. Okay, we all know society is run by consumerism. They want you to buy this. They want you to buy that to look better. 
They want you to do this and they want you to do that. But it's all a choice. Remember that. Okay? And I'll see y'all later. Thank y'all so much. Bye.